It's Macron versus Erdogan in the Mediterranean. And everybody knows who is going to win. Turkey's Islamist president Recep Tayyip Erdogan cannot just bully Cyprus and Greece in the eastern Mediterranean any longer since France has physically entered the conflict zone. On Thursday, French President Emmanuel Macron tweeted, The situation in the eastern Mediterranean is worrying. Turkey's unilateral decisions on oil exploration are causing tensions. These must end to allow a peaceful dialogue between neighboring countries and the allies within NATO. Macron added, I have decided to temporarily strengthen the French military presence in the eastern Mediterranean in the coming days, in cooperation with European partners, including Greece. Macron has decided to dispatch two Rafale fighter jets and a naval frigate to counter the growing Turkish threat to Cyprus and Greece. The latest French move has come amidst heightened tensions between Greece and Turkey. Ankara has been frequently intruding research and survey ships into Greece's exclusive economic zone for exploring oil and natural gas opportunities in the Aegean Sea and the Eastern Mediterranean. On August 10, Turkey issued another NAFTEX alert for seismic research with the vessels Oroş Reis, Ataman and Genghis Khan. The move was provocative as the NAFTEX alert was for a region that is well within 180 kilometers of the Greek Castello Riso island. As per the UNCLOS, the continental shelf extends up to 200 kilometers from the baseline of the coastline of a particular country. Economic activity cannot be carried out in this zone except with the consent of the country having jurisdiction over the 200 kilometer radius from its baseline. It is also accepted that the islands of a country also have a baseline. But Turkey, being led by a rogue Erdogan regime, is not a signatory to the UNCLOS. Ankara has its own bizarre interpretation of international maritime law that islands do not have continental shelves. Therefore, it has been blatantly intruding into the continental shelves of both Cyprus and Greece. On Thursday, the Turkish president himself made some highly provocative remarks after Greece condemned the Turkish move of sending research vessels accompanied by warships to the waters near Castello Rizzo Island as illegal. Erdogan said, We said that if you attack our Oruç race, you will pay a high price. And they got their first answer today. Erdogan did not elaborate, but Macron responded with a bold move of increasing the deployment in the eastern Mediterranean. He also asked Ankara to halt its exploration work in the disputed waters of the eastern Mediterranean. Meanwhile, Greece has thanked France for the move. The Greek Prime Minister tweeted, I thank President Macron for his solidarity. He added that President Macron is not only a true friend of Greece, but also a fervent protector of European values and international law. Macron had shown solidarity to Greece in Greek, and the Greek Prime Minister thanked him in French. The Greek Defence Ministry has also revealed that the French frigate and helicopter carrier Tonero also conducted joint exercises with four Greek frigates on Thursday. All this while, Turkey has been irked by a French intervention and has accused Paris of provoking to take wrongful steps. Ankara is rattled by the prospect of direct French intervention because while Germany remains the biggest economy in the European Union, France is the deadliest European military power. Macron himself is trying to return the favour to Erdogan here. Turkey has been bullying southern European countries with its refugee threat and Libyan intervention. While France backs the Haftar-led LNA forces in Libya, Erdogan has gone berserk with his mercenaries supporting the Muslim Brotherhood regime in Tripoli. Now Macron is hitting back at Turkey in the eastern Mediterranean. Apart from military support to Cyprus and Greece, Macron's initiative to reach out to Lebanon after the Beirut blast has also caught the attention of the world. The location of Lebanon is such that France can directly monitor and hinder Turkish advances towards the Cyprus and Greek waters. French ambitions must be ultimately to enter Libya in a direct way instead of just covert supply support. Macron himself has issued some very angry statements accusing Turkey of playing a dangerous game in Libya. Ankara itself has been brutally undiplomatic in its replies to the French president. 
After Macron criticized Turkey for its irresponsible role in Libya, Turkish foreign minister replied by saying that the French president suffered from an eclipse of the mind. Now, if France has to send boots on the ground in Libya, then it needs to have a solid presence in the eastern Mediterranean and that seems to have started already with Lebanon, Cyprus and Greece. Macron had been holding back his eastern Mediterranean ambitions until now because he knew that he will not find much support from an Angela Merkel-led EU. Turkey itself uses a divided European Union with German Chancellor Angela Merkel's de facto leadership to bully the entire continent. Even now, Erdogan is saying that he would hold a dialogue with the German Chancellor and the European Council President Charles Michel to discuss the tense situation. Macron now knows that he will have to take matters in his own hands when it comes to Turkish belligerence. He has started with reinforcements around Greece and is going to build some consensus on Erdogan being the bad guy threatening peace of the entire Mediterranean region. The French president has thus decided to put Turkey's Islamist president in his place.